<laughs> What's up everybody, Josh here again, and today we have another treat for both of us, and you, of course, to watch. We have the Burger King New Melts that they came out. We have all three of them today, okay? We have the original. That looks so good. We have the Bacon Melt. With bacon on it. And we have the Spicy, with spicy on it. Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so we're going to try all three of them. I'm not going to eat all three of them today. I can't eat all three of them. They're three Whoppers, okay? Let's go ahead and start with the original, and we'll go from there. So, the original, D, what, what is it? The new Whopper melt from Burger King features two slices of toast layered with a fourth pound of flame-grilled beef, melty American cheese, caramelized onions, and stacker sauce. Stacker sauce? Nice. Nice. And I see those onions in there. I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but boy, they're, they're there. That's for sure. Let's try this one. And guys, what we're going to do is we're going to rate them all three from a scale to one to ten. Ten being the best, one being the worst. From what I can see, I like cheesy meltiness. <laughs> all right, let's give this one a shot. So this is the original BK Whopper Melt we're going to try first. Is that the stacker sauce that stands out? I don't know. Have I tried stacker sauce? It's like Big Mac sauce. It does taste a little bit like Thousand Island dressing. Like Big Mac. Mmm. Mmm. That's a really good sandwich. All that cheesy goodness. Oh my gosh. It just, the sauce and the, and the cheese and the burger and the bun, or I guess the toasted bread, I guess is what it is. It all goes together perfect. It's, guys, I mean, it's amazing. It really is. What do you think, D? I'll give that a 10. <laughs> that was amazing. Anything wrong with it? Why wouldn't you give it a 10, right? I, nothing wrong with it, guys. The blend of... It's that cheese. That cheese is amazing. I love cheese. I always have. And I tell you what, that's a good burger. I'll give it a 10. I agree with that 100%. I, I, I don't give a lot of 10s I have been lately. But boy, it's good. You can't deny if it's good, okay? It's good. So, we're done with the original. And I'm not going to eat all of it, like I said. I'm just going to try to save some for later and whatnot. We're going to move over to the BK Bacon Melt now. And what's it got on it, D? Look at that cheese. Look at that cheese. Look at it dancing right there. See it? See it dance? The new bacon whopper melt from Burger King features two slices of onion. toast. Sorry, go ahead. Layered with a fourth pound of flame grilled beef, mm -hmm. melty American cheese, crispy bacon, caramelized onions, and stacker sauce. So basically the exact same thing as the thing we just ate, only it has bacon. So it has to be good, right? It has to be good. If it's got bacon on it, it's got to be good, right? Everything's good with bacon. Everything goes great with bacon. Let's see. Mm. Okay. I can taste the bacon, for sure. That bacon looks a little burnt, though. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a crispier bacon. Yeah, that's been crispy. <laughs> it's been burnt a little bit. That's okay. It's still good. Mmm. <sighs> Boy, not bad. Not bad at all. Take another bite or two, and then I'll give you my opinion. A little bit of cheese there. Don't worry, I wash my hands before I do all this. I always do. Because usually what happens is I come straight home from work. So I pick something up on the, home, on, on the way from home from work. This is... Wow. Mm. That stacker sauce is pretty good. 
I couldn't believe I've never tried that before. <clears throat> Maybe I have. I don't know. Basically the same one as the last one, guys, but you can definitely see that bacon in there. See it? What you think, D? 10. The gut was a 10, too? <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. They, if they're all about the same, which they seem like they kind of are, um, I'm going to give that one a 9.5. And the only reason why I'm going to give it a 9.5 is because the bacon is a little crispy. The bacon was seemed like it might have been cooked a little, little too long, if you know what I mean. If it wasn't for that, it, it would have got a 10 way too easy. But mine, my bake is a little crispy. It's, it's been, you can see black on the edges of it. Good. Still good. Don't get me wrong. But D gives it a 10, I'll give it a 9.5. Just just because of the bacon, the way the bacon's cooked. I like crispy bacon. I like uh, soft bacon. Actually, I like bacon anyway. I love bacon. <laughs> I'll say, I mean, who don't like bacon? I mean, I guess there's a lot of people who don't like bacon. But, I mean, if you like meat, usually you like bacon. I love bacon. I got something in my beard. What is it? I think you got it. Take it? Some stacker sauce. Did I get it? Okay. So let's go ahead and um, try the spicy version now. So this is the BK Spicy Melt. And what's it got in it, D? <clears throat> The new spicy Whopper Melt from Burger King features two slices of toast layered with a fourth pound of flame grilled beef, melty mm -hmm. American cheese, mm -hmm. jalapenos, mm -hmm. caramelized onions, mm -hmm. and creamy spicy sauce. Creamy spicy sauce. So it's got a different sauce on it this time. It does. It does smell quite a bit like jalapenos. So, and you can see the jalapenos on it just a little bit. There's not really that many jalapenos on this one though, but that's okay. Down the hatch. Mm. When you bite into that beef like that, the flame boiled, mm. you know, Burger King's been a, one of my favorite restaurants, I guess, around for a long time because I love grilling out, guys, and we're getting to grilling out season where I live, so we like Burger King. My whole family loves Burger King. See those jalapenos right there? Is it spicy to you? At all? Not really. It's got a little bit of a spice. I guess I'm going to take a little, few more bites to see if I do get some spice, but I'm not getting any, any spice at all. I mean, that's dead center in the middle of the burger. So. That's not hot at all. No. It's not hot. But, if you like the taste of jalapeno, which I do, I love the taste of jalapeno. The spice that comes with it, I can stand it. You know, I could, I could, I could stand it pretty well. There ain't no spice there, but you got the taste of jalapeno though when you bite into it though. I don't know. It's like a deconstructed jalapeno taste. Uh, I mean, it's just a taste of jalapeno. Is all it is. <clears throat> Those must be like mild jalapenos or something. They're not hot at all. Okay, I just ate that jalapeno by itself. I got a teensy weensy bit of spice from it. Like a jalapeno has. So they must be mild or something. So maybe <clears throat> they're not really hot jalapenos. At least the ones that we, our Burger King used are not. The older jalapeno is, the hotter it is. So those might be young jalapenos. It's still not bad. What do you think, B? I'll give it probably about a nine. About a nine? I think you use some more Misleading, spice. if you ask me. I was expecting something with a little bit of bite to it, actually, but... And these, actually, these burgers are just a little bit smaller than a regular Whopper. They're, they're actually, they're smaller than a regular Whopper. So don't expect regular Whopper size uh, with these burgers. We ain't got one. I, I mean, I showed you what the burger looks like, but they're, they're kind of smaller. I mean, probably because of the toast bread that they use, I'd say. But boy, I, they're all good. They really are. But let's talk about the spicy. She gave it a nine. I'm going to give it an 8.5. And the reason why I'm going to get 8.5, it's not spicy. It's good. It's good tasting. It's not spicy at all. Like, I mean, I had to eat a raw jalapeno to get a little bit of tingle on my tongue, and that was about it. <laughs> you know? I mean, really, it was, it, was, it was not spicy. The spicy sauce is not spicy, for sure. I don't know if it just mixes in with everything and kind of takes the, the bite out of it a little bit. It is not spicy at all, so it's getting an eight for me. Well, I mean, 
they didn't really put a lot of jalapenos and, in it. And also, it could very well be they could they didn't put enough jalapenos on it if that's what makes it spicy. They only put about three or four jalapenos on that bad boy for a four ninety nine dollar burger, right? Four ninety nine each. It was four forty nine for that. One. Sorry, it's four forty nine each for these burgers, and they only put like three jalapenos on it, three or four jalapenos. So I don't know. Maybe you ask for extra jalapeno to make it a little bit more spicy, or maybe a little extra sauce when you go through the drive through or, or pick it up, yeah, or have it delivered. There really wasn't much sauce on it either. So if I was to say which one I like the most, I would say that's a hard one. They're all very, very similar, but I think I like the one with, uh, I actually will have to say, I like the original. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. We see the snack crate. So we finally got our snack crate. Uh, we're going to have that coming up here next day or two, I guess. Uh, I guess tomorrow night when I get home from work, we're going to go ahead and break open this bad boy. And uh, we'll do a review on it. Since you're watching, I'll give you a sneak preview of where it's from. Smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell so you know when we have a new video coming out. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace.